welcome back and welcome to my August book haul. I know we're well into September now, but it's been busy in terms of videos I need to share with you. Um, I have, of course, my Book of the Month Club books, um, and then I have a few books that were sent to me. So this is going to be quite a small book haul, but I am excited to share these books with you. So first of all, let's go with the books that I chose for my Book of the Month Club pick. The last couple of months have been months where I've, I've chosen multiple books because you can add on another book for $9.99. Um, so sometimes that happens. Um, I bought into the hype and decided to order The Whisper Man by Alex North. This one has just been all over Bookstagram and everyone has been talking about it. I like the detail on the back of this one. Everyone's been talking about it. Everyone's been saying how amazing it is. The tagline is, if you leave a door half open, soon you'll hear the whispers spoken. Um, so this one is a thriller and I haven't read a thriller in a while and a lot of people start getting into that kind of thriller frame of mind once we get to um, September, October, the full months. Um, so I decided to order this one. I didn't put it on my September TBR because my other book of the month club pick is on there which is a young adult novel. I decided to go in a different direction for this one. I love the fact that Book of the Month are now doing a full selection of YA novels every month. So you can get a YA of the month that comes in a pink box. I want my book to come in a pink box. I think maybe I need to switch over to YA of the month and see if I can add on an adult book. Um, <laughs> wait until September's book call for what I've ordered this month. Um, this one is on my September TBR because I'm going to be buddy reading it with my friend Bethany. Um, and this one is Colour Me In, a novel by Natasha Diaz, which just sounds amazing. Everyone I know who's read this one has said that I will love it. And then I thought Bethany had read it when I found out that she hadn't. I, um, we, well, she suggested that we read this one this month. Um, so we're going to be reading it for the contemporary Readathon, read -a -thon, um, which begins on the 23rd. Um, and this was my other pick. Uh, this one is um, Growing Up in an Affluent Suburb of New York City. 16 year old Nevaeh Levitz has never thought much about her biracial roots. When her black mom and Jewish dad split up, she relocates to her mom's family home in Harlem and is forced to confront her identity for the first time. Um, so this one sounds really, really good. Then I um, I was having lunch the other day and somebody approached me with a book that they thought I should read. Um, I was wearing my Wonder t-shirt and I was reading a book. So I think she could probably tell that I was a reader. Either that or, you know, she's seen me on here. Who knows? Um, but this one is a young adult novel and it is published by Colorado Independent Publishers Association. Um, and she just handed me this and didn't say anything about it and kind of left. And this one is Karina by E.B. Mann. For Karina Morgan, every day is another chance to be bullied by the pretty girls at school, all because of an accident when she was just a baby that left her horribly scarred. Her life seems hopeless and still she stumbles upon a mysterious cave near her home. What she learns from the cave's extraordinary inhabitants will change her perspective and her life forever. So that sounds quite interesting and it was a really interesting way to get a book as well. So I thought I would share it with you here. It's very shiny, it's hard to see because I've got this kind of weird morning light going on, but that's that one. Um, and then some books that I was sent by authors and publishers. Um, I was sent a copy of Day Zero by Kelly DeVos. This is going to be the start of a duology. So there's going to be two books in this series. Um, and she sent me a copy of this one. I showed it off on my Insta stories and I did save it in my book mail on my Insta stories because it came in the most amazing packaging with a gorgeous card, which is up on that shelf up there. Um, and this one is um, about a girl who's parents are very paranoid about you know war breaking out and everything coming down so she's had a lot of a doomsday training um and her parents get divorced so she believes that she can breathe a sigh of relief she is a coder and so you know 
the thought of a kind of doomsday is a little bit far out for her. But then things start to happen where her doomsday training might come in handy. Um, this one comes out in November. So I'm very excited to have an early copy. It's not even properly, well it's bound, but it's not even properly finished yet. So I am excited to read this one. And thank you very much to Kelly for sending this to me. Um, I will try and leave a pre-order link in the description box if that sounds like something you would be interested in. And then, <clears throat> this is a book I was sent following on from a discussion I had with um, somebody at BookCon. Um, and this is a non-fiction book that I've been sent for review. This one came out in June, um, but this is Reckoning, The Epic Battle Against Sexual Abuse and Harassment by Linda Hirschman, which sounds right up my street, totally the kind of thing I like to read. Um, and talking to the person that sent me this, um, just chatting about it, she was like, you would absolutely love this book. Um, I was just checking because I wasn't sure if it had any pictures in it, but it does not have pictures in, but I am excited to read it. Um, and she is um, a historian, so it should be interesting to see a historian's perspective of the Me Too movement as well. Um, so thank you very much for my copy of this one. I'm very excited to get started. Um, and then Quirk Books sent me a package and it's a package that is very timely for this time of year. Again, if you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen me um, open this book mail in my stories and it will be saved in my book mail highlight. And that is the Home Alone 2 Lost in New York. Quirk Books does these pop classics, these picture books of um, pop films and uh, they do the Home Alone one and this is the Home Alone 2 one, and it's just got the most gorgeous illustrations. And what's nice about these ones is that the um, naked book looks just the same as the dust jacket. So you could have it as a naked book, or you could have it as a dust jacket. Um, I'm excited to share this one with someone. And here is the end papers at the back. How gorgeous is that? I love that illustration. Um, so I feel like I want to save it until closer to Christmas, but I also kind of want to read it now because it looks really cute. I mean, look. So thank you very much to Quirk Books for sending that one. Um, there's a whole range of these. I have the Karate Kid. There is obviously a Home Alone one. I can't remember the other ones um, that they have, but there's a whole range of these pop classics books and they're just they're just so cool and look at that um and finally i have a book that was not sent to me by a publisher or an author but was sent to me by my mum uh she went to a book event in the uk not just one but this book comes from one book event in the UK um, for the new Louise Pentland book, Wild Women. And she got me a signed copy because she knows that I really enjoyed this one. We read the second one together. We listened on audiobook together and then filmed a review of it together for you. So um, I will link that somewhere. Um, and so she got me a signed copy of this one. I have read this one. Um, I pre-ordered the audiobook of it so that I could have it as soon as it came out because I was excited to read the third book in the series. Look at those glorious end papers. We had shoes and wellies for the first two books in the series and not only is it signed by Louise but it is also signed by Darcy because she was at the event too. Um, so thank you very much to my mum for sending me my glorious pink sprayed edge copy of wild women i just love the what they've done with these covers i do think they are glorious novels and i love the series um as i say we made a review about the second one we loved it um so there you have it there is my august book haul for you um thank you very much to the authors and publishers and my mum that sent me books i as i say have ordered uh, 
more than one book for my September book of the month. So that will be coming up for you soon. My September, my September book haul might even land in the month of September. Who knows? I will be back with some more bookish content for you very soon. So make sure you are subscribed so that that lands in your subscription feed. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments if you got any exciting books in the month of August and uh, I will see you with my next video. Bye.